Try again, Toronto. Just nice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that one. is a oh. rocket. A this, bullet on water. This is a bullet on water. Wow. This is a boat that's powerful enough we could get into some trouble with it. Wow. And it's right in this wind. Like, really like there's no wind. Wow, that is really nice, you guys. What? <laughs> Welcome back to Boat Week on the RC Sailors. This is the second Boat Week of 2021 and the third video of this week. I'm so excited. This one looks like a yacht. There's something just a little bit classy about this boat and it's funny because it's by UDRC. This is the biggest UDRC boat that we have had on our channel and I'm really pumped about that. It's brushless, it runs on 3S. And when I think about this like price point and the size, I think about those Venom boats and they were the best and then they kind of went out of business because they just got a little outdated and couldn't keep up with the times and stuff, but man, they were good in their time. This is a brand new boat and I am so pumped to test it. And what we're doing this week is testing these boats here at the lake to let you guys know which ones are and aren't worth your hard-earned money. At the end of the week, Abby's going to have a pick and I'm going to have a pick at our favorite RC boat of the week. So I'm pretty pumped about this one because of the price. It's under $200 and it's completely ready to run minus the four AA batteries that you need for the radio. So let's power it on, see if it has the self-riding feature and really put this thing to the test. Let's check this out. Look at the brushless motor in here. That is very cool. It actually looks like it has like this weight wheel to it as well. I don't know, something about that. That's just a really cool mounted system. Uh, these hoses are for water cooling. So we'll see here. Let's take a look. There's where it's going to shoot out of the side. And on the bottom, we should have a spot where the water gets sucked in right there. So that is very awesome. We have all these nice little trim tabs on the back too to help this boat ride really smooth. Our nice prop here and big rudder. It looks good. I think this whole system looks good. For a UDRC, remember this is like a very budget uh, brand of boats. At least. Why is this so big? It just looks massive. That is the ESC, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Why is it so big? we're dealing with a giant 3S battery All right. and a brushless system. So we are really going to be pumping some power through this boat. I am pumped. Ha! Didn't even mean to do that. Pumping power, I'm pumped. <laughs> Dad choked. I turned the radio on first, then just plugged in the battery and it powered on. Listen. Ooh. Sounds powerful. Sounds like a spaceship. Looks awesome. This is like the coolest looking, sleekest looking RC boat we've ever had. Like it looks Simple good. colors, but man. I like it. Yeah, so let's do a self-riding test. It should be able to. I sure hope it can. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, this one is so powerful. We don't have to rock it, which is what I tried to do. Yeah. We can just Throttle. Just throttle. Just okay, so that's cool. That. Try again. Throttle. Just nice. Throttle. That, oh Boom. my god. <laughs> that is power. a rocket. A this, bullet on water. This is a bullet on water. Wow. This is a boat that's powerful enough we could get into some trouble with it. Wow. Ooh. And it's riding in this wind. Like, really like there's smooth. no wind. Wow. That is really nice, you guys. What? <laughs> I am impressed. I'm very impressed. This isn't jumping out of the water. Look at that. That's hands free. I might have to trim it up just a hair steering trim, but it's not jumping out of the water. Look at that. Just, just throttle right there. That is hugging to the water better than any boat in this price range and at this speed that I've ever seen. I'm trying to give you a pass with no cars going by. Listen. Yeah. And it turns on a dime. Watch this. I think this is better than those atomic boats. It's way made. better. Look at this. It is way better. UDRC is hitting this out of the park. And if you guys have been around, we're talking about the uh, wow. atomic barbed wire boats. Um, I think this is. You got to try this. That's why I pulled it. Up. I think this is between the like smaller size and then they had the bigger XL size. This is kind of like in between the two. Like, it might be close to XL. Um, I think the XL might be a little bit bigger, but this is insane. Yeah. This is insane. Wow. You gotta drive this. Like this is better than those, I think. Okay, I want you to do self-riding. Okay. Watched it. 
no, 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 you got unlucky on the wind. Go. One more. One more. You got it? Okay, just maybe a couple blasts. Blast. Okay, watch. Blast. Blast. You see what I did? Oh, you said just give it throttle. You lied. No, I did. You still have to time it. Okay, okay well, you didn't I say got, that. I got a little lucky when I threw it in. I must have had like a little bit of the, the rock going I my see. way. Okay. Let's, I, want, I want to give you one more shot there. <laughs> It's just, it's fun. So you, if it doesn't go on the first blast. I'm also okay. trying to film. I know, watch. If it doesn't go on the first blast and it gets stuck there and then it starts to go back over, let it rock. So get off the throttle. And then when it's here, blast that throttle again okay. and it will go back over. Okay, are you ready? Ready, ready, ready? Yep. Okay, oh, I messed up timing. again. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Shut so up. Bad. Leave me alone. Take the camera. Get it. Back around. Wow, you're bad at this. Wait. Time it. There, you got it. See, anybody, oh, can, anybody do it. can make this moment. <laughs> All right, now I'll just drive it and have fun. This is a just a massively awesome, powerful boat. Wow. I wouldn't push the range much farther than that. You're out there. You're like in the middle of the lake. But look how fast it comes back. Oh, I know. What, so on the box it says Woo! 55 nice kilometers turn. an hour. Am I right? Look at this left turn. Oh, they're on a dime. And it doesn't roll. It doesn't wreck like we've seen a ton of boats in this like speed do. They have trimmed it up perfectly as a ready to run boat. It's like race ready. Wow, that was insane. That's insane. It's Your left, left hand turn. turns are on a dime. This is a right hand turn. And that's usually how boats work if you're not familiar with boats. One way turns a lot sharper yeah. than the other. That's so crazy. You guys, UDRC. Listen to the water that you're throwing. It sounds like you're throwing like ocean waves. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> You can't rock it, but you're killing it while you're driving it. Wow! Oh, I there, shot it You up. did, you did. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> this is a really These good boat. These left hand turns are so fun. Who needs right hand turns when you can left hand turn like this? Boom! On a dime! <laughs> Those are the sharpest, fastest turns we've ever seen an RC boat do. Am I right? Oh, yeah. It's just the fact that this is like hugging the water, you guys. It's not hopping out. Yeah. And it is a windy day. It yeah. should be hopping out. Like it that was against the wind, that direction. Perfect. This is this is with the wind, this direction. Like glass on the water. Wow. Okay. I and then this will be a little bumpy, but not like most boats this fast. You ready? Mm -hmm. Barely any bump at That's all. That's insanely smooth. This way it's glass. Look at that. It rocked a hair there, but not bad. Whoa, I lost you. I wasn't expecting that. I was trying to stay super tight. Zoom on it. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I'm too much time with Amelia. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you spend a little time. Oh, there, low battery, low no! battery. That's okay. That's okay. We got our low battery oh, warning. Oh, I'm so sad. We were blasting I this I was full throttle the whole time. Me too. Okay. I couldn't resist. Water test. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I think uh, I'd like to turn this off. Well, okay. I'm sad that see. it's Let's out of see. juice. Am I safe to turn this off? Yep. Yes. I don't recommend doing that though, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Water test. There's a truck coming, ruining our water test. Ruining it! <laughs> okay, there's the first hatch. Okay. Here is... That is a nice truck though. <laughs> it is. Despite the brand. I'm just kidding. I cut that. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I there's thought I could no feel... Water. Hold on, I thought I could... I thought. I'll my it, mind, is, it all my mind is playing tricks on me. Look down in here. There's, there's no, water. no water in there. Flip it all the way. None. Yeah, there's no water. Zero water. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we just found the best boat 
that you can buy. Under 200. I mean, there's better boats for like four or five dollars. Yeah, but in this price range, under 200 dollars. This is amazing. My mind is blown. Me too. Wow. Is that a rock in here? A rock. I'm serious. I think there's like a rock or like bubble gum. I don't. What is that? I don't know. I'm not gonna touch it right now. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's some type of gummy, like yeah, sticky paste. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be there. <laughs> Could also be whoever built this in China, done with their gum, right in the boat. I don't know. It was quality control pass. They missed the gum. That's okay. There's your downside. Yours might come with old ABC gum in there. <laughs> Between how this looks. Hang on. Yeah, put that on. This there this is so go. cool. It's like it's like. Mothmobile or something. Not, looks bat, like, not Batmobile. It looks like, like a, a yacht, a speed yacht. Like if I was gonna own a boat, I want it to look like this. That was just so. Sometimes, sometimes, not always, but sometimes with certain boats, I do feel like okay. The downside to a boat. What is it? Everybody knows it. You're very limited to where you can run your boat. You can't drive it on grass or gravel or it doesn't fly. You just have water. That's your downside, right? So. And then sometimes if you don't have a good place to drive and it's really slow, it could be a little bit boring. So there are some downsides to boats, but trust me, if you got your hands on this boat, the controller of this boat, and if you were just driving by and you asked, can I drive your boat? Yes, you can. You would absolutely have to have one of these. For me, this was pure adrenaline the entire time. I would put it up there with my, um, what was that like vector thrust? Uh, boat that we did from the Miss America. No, the Miss Geico. Oh, Miss yeah. Geico. That was crazy like a stunt boat. Right. But this is like the most fun I've had with this amount of money. Yes. In an RC boat. Yeah. Ever. I mean, this awesome. might be the XL sizes of, the, of those like Atomic Barbar XLs. But this is way more powerful. I'm just trying to remember. I would gladly kick one of those off the shelf to keep this, even though those are like- I love you those. To, you, know, you can't even buy them now. Exactly. So it's kind of, but this one is- This one's staying. We're, we're keeping this. No doubt about yeah. it. Sometimes I sell boats to friends. Hey, can I buy a boat? I just told you guys. I sold a friend our Isheen boat. I kept it so that I could sell it to a friend if they ever got interested. I think I sold it for like 30 or 40 bucks, something like that. Maybe 20 bucks. I can't remember. Um, but this one stays. So if I, if I didn't have another one of those Isheen boats handy, and he said, hey, a friend, do you have an RC boat that I could buy? I would say, no, I do not, but I recommend you buy this. New, go buy your own. <laughs> That's how good this is. I wouldn't sell it. I would not sell it. That's fun. Wow. New bar, boom, new bar. I love that. It's linked in the description box below. If you guys want to pick one up for yourself, do it before the price goes up. A lot of times when things get attention, attention and excitement, we see the price go up. Okay, I hate to say that, but that's kind of what happens sometimes with our channel. If we really like something and you guys really like it too, it does happen. So, or it'll sell out. It might just sell out really quickly. So this is insanely awesome. If you've got the money and you want a nice boat, this is the boat to buy. Wow, for today, for having so much fun with this hobby, getting to share it with you guys, this beautiful boat, we thank God. Even with the car alarm. I don't know if they can hear the car alarm. <laughs> I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because trust me guys, you know this. All of our Patreon supporters know this. If this boat was bad in any way, shape, or form, we would tell you. We would tell you. We love telling you when stuff is bad actually because then you know what not to buy. If everything that we put on our channel was good, who would even have any money to spend on other things? You gotta eat, right? So I love being able to tell you guys when something is bad and I don't feel bad at all about that because of our Patreon supporters. We have enough money to buy things and put things on the channel and support the channel with full transparency and I love that. So thank you guys so, so much. You really need to think about getting one of these. Way, 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 way better than I was expecting. So awesome. But we do have other cool boats too on the channel. And the one that I talked about, the Miss Geico, the little stunt boat, I think is absolutely worthy of your time watching. So that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye.